Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having another great day today. Well, today is a pickup day for the Rivian. And I'm uh, headed home right now, uh, going to pick the family up. They're going to turn around and, and head to uh, St. Louis. It's at the Hazelwood Service Center, hopefully. Um, because when I, I called them yesterday, the vehicle wasn't in yet. It was still on its way from Maryland. And this is a question I had to ask them. I was like, hey, uh, is this vehicle even here yet? It took them a couple of days re to respond, and finally they got back with me yesterday to let me know it, wasn't, it was on its way still, and it may be here at one o'clock today. Uh, but the problem is, is my appointment was, at, uh, was supposed to be at 11 o'clock. And so we had to push that back, and of course my son is in school, so we had to push it back even farther, and I, I guess they needed time to, to go over the vehicle and clean it and all this other good stuff. So we'll see. So hopefully everything goes well with that, but you will be the first to know if it isn't. I also want to address the video that I made the other day, and I can't remember the title of it, but it has something to do with uh, that electric cars spend more less time charging than gas cars spend at, refueling at the gas station. And of course it caused a lot of controversy and, you know, you know, some people reported my channel for misinformation and uh, yeah, so all types of crazy stuff. You know, people getting up in their feelings. Very interesting, very interesting. Because I remember I made also made a video about how it costs more to charge an electric car using a public charger than it would if then gas, depending on the price of gas. And of course, that had people, you know, going all crazy on me too. Uh, so when information seems to fit a particular narrative, you know, certain people be, you know, yes, yes, yes. But when it doesn't, then all of a sudden they have a problem with it. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm here to present facts. Uh, this is not, this is man, I don't do the feeling thing. I'm sorry. You come in here, you're getting command of data. Sir, they are powering up their weapon systems. Ray shields, red alert. And if you don't know that he's from Star Trek, or either, or either Spock. I find your arguments strewn with gaping defects in logic. But I'm more of a data guy myself. But that's what you're getting. I'm giving you facts and data. I had a lot of good questions, a lot of good comments come in. You know, some one person commented to say they said that hey, uh, that maybe you should have started your timer when you were at the gas station. Uh, others said that hey. Um, that's mo no one ever goes from home to the gas station, which is false. Um, I'm not sure if you ever heard of people who remote work or telework, but there are plenty of people that do that. I did it, did that. That was not an unnatural thing. And you know, some people say, you, well, I, I guess they were saying if I was going from my house to the gas station, it's a longer route, but that's actually false. It takes longer <laughs> to get to the gas station from the road coming from work. Right now I'm coming from work and I'm going to show you the difference. My exit is coming up right here and the exit for the gas station is down the road, which is probably going to add another two or three minutes on. So and to me, and I, I already factored that into the equation, um, which is why I didn't do that. I tried to, I said I was making it favorable to the gas car and see, this is my exit right here and the gas, the exit for the gas station is down that way. So it's about a mile or so, so down that way. So maybe two or three minutes more, but still insignificant because a lot of people are getting caught up in the details and it's not about that. So even if you're spending an extra two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, it's still a route deviation. And I want you to ask yourself a question. Have you liked and subscribed to my channel? If you like this content, make sure you go ahead and do that. But I also have another question and a person pulls a question say I should have started the timer at the gas station because people have to go to the gas station anyway and they can do it amongst other activities. Now if I was comparing fueling a gas car with someone who was using a public charger, for example someone who, used in, who, who lived in an apartment or a condo and didn't have access to home charging, yes I agree. This is not the case, I'm comparing home charging which is 90% of the people that charge their cars do it home charging. So that's represent the majority of the other people. So they would spend less time. And the reason why I wouldn't stop it, why I disagree with that is that I have a question for you. 
would you go to the gas station if your car never needed gas? People tend to go to go to the gas station when their car's around a third of a tank, and that's based on research. Let's say you had infinite energy in your vehicle, and, you, and it required no type of fuel, no plugging in. Would you go to the gas station? And I want you to to let me know in the comments if your car didn't require any type of gas, would you ever go to the gas station? Well, maybe for a lottery ticket or a pack of smokes. When I switched over to electric, I didn't go to the gas station again because there's no need. Why, why would I go to the gas station? It, you know, I can go to a convenience store. I wouldn't go to the gas station to shop, and most people don't go to the gas station to shop. The items are higher, unless someone's living in a type, some type of food desert and they don't have any other option. But the things are higher priced in the gas station. And, you know, so most people outside of going to get gas would not even go to a gas station. And that is why I counted this time because it is a route deviation. You are deviating from your route. Let's use a, a, a car navigation, for example. You plug a destination in and you're going to get gas or either charge your vehicle up. You get off on the exit, your car is going to be, hey, uh, you're off the exit. Your navigation system is going to tell you rerouting because you're off your route. The gas station is not your destination or, or charging station if you're publicly charging. That is a necessary stop that you have to make. It is a route deviation. So if you had the option to come home or go hang out the at the gas station and you didn't even need any gas, would you even do it? I doubt it very highly that you would do it. I know I wouldn't do it. And uh, I, I know most electric vehicle owners more likely wouldn't do it unless they're going to, the, unless they have to charge there. But if you have access to home charge, there's no purpose, no need. So yes, I stand on everything I said in that video. Uh, there's research to back it up. I did link one in one of my uh, pinned comment in the last video, and I'll link it again in this video, but it wasn't just that. Uh, also, gas stations report that the average dwell time for customers is 20 minutes. You got to realize that gas stations make the majority of the profits off the store sales, not the gas. So gas stations may make about you know 15 to 20 cents a profit on the gas per gallon, but the majority of the profits come from the store sales for sure. And even gas stations say the average customer dwell time is 20 minutes. So that's 20 minutes. So it's no, no matter which way you cut, if you spend it five minutes, two minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, that's still two more minutes than a person who has a charge at home. And that time I adds up over time. Like I said, when I, when I plug my car in, it takes seconds. That's not even worth it. I don't have to attend to it. I just plug it in and walk away. And then it's not even set to charge up until like midnight anyway. And I totally understand why someone who never owned an electric vehicle would not realize there's a huge difference between charging your vehicle at home and going to get gas. It's a big difference, it's a paradigm shift. And you can't even think of it. All that, that uh, thinking you have on gas cars, what did Yoda say? No, no different, only different in your mind. You must unlearn what you have learned. Yes, that right there. You gotta throw that out of the window. You gotta unlearn what you have learned. So, uh, but I just wanted to drop in and say that. And again, please like and subscribe. And uh, that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me once again. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.